This is our first annual mystery basket competition. And the contestants, we have two teams out there right now. We've got Smiles from Giles County, and we've got Clueless from Montgomery County. You, got, you guys got to see the outfits that they have out there. They look pretty good, and they're very excited. They're a little nervous, but they're very excited. But wait till they see what's in the basket. Mystery basket competition is they open the basket and they have a variety of ingredients. They have no idea what's in the basket. And then out in the kitchen, they have all of the availability of items in the kitchen. Right now, they've got rice, potatoes, they've got uh, spices, they've got fruits and vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables, um, all kinds of staples that they can choose from. But what they don't know is what's in the basket. So come on over here, let's take a peek and see what's in the basket. Our first ingredient in the basket is chicken breast. Nice trim chicken breast, something that every kitchen uses. Our second ingredient is mango. Now, a lot of people have not used mango in their school cafeterias, but mangoes are a delicious item that have a, a variety of uses from sauces to salsas to, they can be served just as a fruit on its own. Cilantro. Cilantro is a great item. And uh, most people just know it's used in salsa, but it can be used in a variety of other dishes. In many countries in South America, they actually use it as a substitution for lettuce. And the smell of it, ah, oh, it's to die for. Here's the curveball, though. Jicama. Most people aren't even familiar with jicama, but jicama is a great, jicama is a great, great product, and it's wonderful to use. It can be used in cold applications like slaws. Um, salads. It's even good as a dipper for uh, like a veggie nibble tray. It's a wonderful product. It has about 20% of the carbohydrates and calories that potatoes do, but it has a real nice sweet flavor. And it can be sauteed, it can be cooked with onions. Just got a lot of great applications. It can be mashed with potatoes too. Great item. Something they've never seen before. So that's the curveball. So we're going to take a step out here in a few minutes and see how teams do. So thank you. Here we go. you a little more to our judges and kind of let you know who our judging team is for our mystery basket competition. 
Our first judge is to my right, and this is Wanda McDowell. Wanda McDowell's with Super Bakery, and she's also our TSNA industry advisor. Yes. And yes. we're so grateful that Wanda could spend her Tuesday morning with us doing the Mystery Basket Competition. <laughs> to you. my left is Rayona Baker, and Rayona is a corporate dietitian with GFS Food Service, and she actually handles uh, many accounts throughout the state of Tennessee and Kentucky. And Kentucky. And Kentucky. And, uh, Last but not least, we've got Bill Baker, and Bill has had the opportunity to dine all over the world, including South America and Europe, and we're very excited to have Bill's uh, input and expertise in the competition. So judges, what's your first thought about the items that they've been given? Wanda? Well, I'm interested to see what they are going to do with the hiccup. Is hiccup. That, uh, hiccup. Hiccup. <laughs> um, very interested in that and using that in my everyday cooking now. All right. So I'm excited to, to see that part of the products. Now, Bill, have you seen it in my use before? No. No? First time for you? Not enough. Have you had it before? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. Um, and I said, I already explained to you guys a little bit about the different ingredients. And the teams are trying to get their, their game on out there. We're going to wait a few minutes and then we're going to check on, in on them and kind of see what they're thinking as far as uh, what they'd like to prepare. So, thank you. Okay, now, just to kind of give you an idea of the ingredients that they had to work with when they came in. We provided them all kind of dairy items. They had half and half, heavy cream, butter. Make sure they had a couple kinds of cheese, so they had Swiss cheese, Parmesan cheese, they had a great variety of fruits and vegetables, pineapples. We even wanted to make sure they had, they decided they wanted to do some different things. But they had some bacon, they had some whole eggs that they had to work with it. And then on the fruit side, watermelon, kind of, different kinds of potatoes, they had some fresh herbs here, fresh basil. Uh, even more cilantro. I don't know if anybody can ever have too much cilantro. Um, bell peppers, all kinds of stuff we're going to work with here. So, and also, like I said, they have a huge amount of uh, spices and things you can do. So let's go take a look at the dry storage and see what they have there. 